So there's one thing I keep forgetting to say at the beginning of the video, which is watch it to the end. I always do an activity with the player. They don't know what it is. I never tell you guys, but it's a challenge to see who wins, all right? So even if you have to skip through the video, just make sure you watch the competition at the end. Chris Jenkins with Charlotte Vibe, and today I'm kicking off the season with a player interview. I've enjoyed working with the fans over the summer. I know you guys said, Chris, where the interview's at? Where the interview's at? So, uh, Mr. Taylor Moten is going to be my first guy of the season. I always like to give a little background about how this came to be, you know, sharing some behind the scenes. And it started last year yeah. with me reaching out to Taylor about it. And I'll be honest, I won't say it's, it's your fault, but, <laughs> but <laughs> it's, all, it's always people say, how do you get these interviews? You know, I have to ask these guys. And it's always weird because it's almost like dating. Like, do I ask him again? Yeah. Do I not? Do I call him? Do I text him? Anyway, after Sunday's game, I had the courage to talk to him. And he blessed me saying, yo, let's do it. So we're here. I appreciate it. And uh, like I said, we're going to get a little bit of football. And we're going to go into some personal stuff to help fans get to know you. All right. But uh, with football, I got to talk about some news that I just got about 30 minutes ago. I don't know how much you, I mean, how long ago you knew about it. But we got some injury updates. Hmm. So Greg Olson is going to have surgery on his foot and also who's the other guy come on help me out i gotta up my email come on daryl you know I, I called you daryl daryl williams Darryl, yeah he's gonna be out entering that his knees at the same yeah. one you heard previously what's oh. your had you heard about that before now what are your initial thoughts about that yeah i heard about those injuries um well greg you know obviously that's always tough you know tremendous player tremendous person and you know you hate to see that happen to one of your one of your guys but ultimately you know we got we got great tight ends in the room and I mean on the team you know with Ian Thomas and mm -hmm. Chris Manhurt so ultimately I think that they'll do a great job you know stepping into the role and um, I, th I think they'll, they'll do a great job. Now, I know fans kind of get we hear you guys say next man up mentality right but when you see Daryl go down for the second time right after coming back I mean, I know you're a professional, you're gonna come back and, and put it out of your mind. But is that an extra little, I mean, it's a little bit hard to see him going like again? And it hurt, I mean, you know, he's one of the good friends of my team, on the, on the team, so he's yeah. one of my good friends of the team. And it, it's, uh, it was really tough to see that. And you know, I was talking to him a little bit, seeing how he was doing. So, I mean, it was nice to hear from him. And you know, I know he's, he'll be in good spirits, um, you know, down the road, you know, I, I, I know he'll, he'll be just fine. But ultimately, you know, for the team, well, we have guys that can step in, mm -hmm. and I think they'll do a great job. And you know, I'm, I'm excited for you know the other guys' opportunities, and uh, I know ultimately as a unit, um, I'm excited to see what to see uh, how we do. Right. And, and I'm, I mean, I can speak for myself for the most part. And I know that I just got to focus on my job. I know the other guys know line. But as long as we work as a unit, we will, and mm -hmm. we'll be okay. So. It sucks seeing him go down again. Man. Uh, I, I interviewed Daryl as well. So again, that's another guy that I first game of the season. So I'm not sure which camera to look at. My camera's right there. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, seeing him go down again, and just I think about him personally, right? You know, the first time you get hurt, you can come back. Then you hurt it again. You kind of wonder about long-term effects. But that's something we'll all wait and see about. Uh, you and this is your second season in the NFL. You. Did, did Rivera say that you stayed in Charlotte a lot this offseason? I did, yeah, for the most part. I mean, Charlotte's my home now, and uh, I, oh, I love really? it here. Yeah, I okay. love it here. I love, you know, I'm I'm really falling in love with it. I got family down here, okay. which is really nice down in Gastonia. So they really make me feel like I'm at home here. And okay. Ultimately, I mean, the, the weather, you can't beat it. And the people, <laughs> the people here are awesome. So, yeah. You know, I really made, uh, I really came accustomed to Charlotte. The more, the, the more I'm here, the more I'm even love him more and more. Okay. So. I didn't know that, man. So I'm happy. That's it. Fans, you know, show this man some more love. He already made Charlotte his home. Uh, who do you have? What family do you have? Is mom here or just some other a family? Whole, a lot of my mom's side of the family is down here. Okay. So they were, you know, born, raised down here in Gastonia. So. Okay. Uh, you know, Thanksgiving, Christmas is when I'm not able to go home. It's convenient to have everybody here. Yeah, exactly. Have the family come down here and we can celebrate. You know, the big, you know, still have the big house, but just, um, 
down here in Gastonia and not back in back in Michigan. But yeah, like I said, I'm I'm really getting accustomed to this place. That's good, man. Well, welcome to the city. I, I made Charlotte obviously home as well, but uh, welcome to the city in that. I appreciate fashion. that. I appreciate that. <laughs> with that offseason spending here and that extra time, how do you feel that that helped with this season? Because you're already playing all over the offensive line. So how do you feel like that has transpired into your play right now? Um. Well, the offseason, it was. I mean, it, it was. Uh, it was a long off season, but I knew ultimately through the time off, I was making sure that I was ready for whatever position might be thrown at me because I knew going into the season that I was a guy that might have to play either tackle, either guard. So I just had to make sure that wherever they needed me to play, I was going to be you know, ready for the opportunity. And has that kind of already affected you when you were drafted, right? You kind of didn't know where you were, but that it was known that you're a guy with some flexibility. So that's something, has it always been in your mind that just Taylor know everything? Yeah, I mean, since uh, since I was done with the se- my last season in college, you know, yeah. I knew that going into it, that the more versatile you can be, the better off you'll be, you know, and just uh, right. thinking about the business side of it. Right? Exactly. <laughs> now, are you allowed to say, or will you say, do you have a favorite position that you like to play across? The- I know you just want to be on the field. I know you just want to contribute. Exactly, yeah, that's how I feel. I mean, for me, I always tell people, whatever position they tell me to play, right then and there, that's my <laughs> yeah, so that's, that's, that's what I'm sticking with. Keep that job security going. <laughs> I don't blame you. Um, let's talk about the locker room. What, what guys are beside you in the locker room? I forget exactly. Um, Who do you got Taylor Hearn team? is to my left. Okay. And then to my right is Trey Turner. Okay. Trey Turner, what's it like staring in the locker right next to I mean, you don't share guy. a locker, but. He's, he's a great guy, a great person to learn from. You know, been to do four Pro Bowls now, something like yeah. that. And, uh, you know, day in and day out, um, I think it, I'm, I'm blessed to have the opportunity to get to learn from a guy like that. See how he, you know, prepares for these games. See how he works. And, um, you know, like today, like him, Ryan Khalil, guys like that, you know, Daryl. And, they, you know, I've learned, I, I learned a lot from those guys. I'm still learning yeah. about, um, you know, what they did to be so successful and continue to be successful. Oh. Has he taught you to be sucker free yet? Or that's, yeah. That's in development. <laughs> Still in development, I guess. <laughs> you know, I, this is, again, I, I like to be admit that when I'm not in the locker room, I can be a fan of you guys. Sometimes I think, man, what's it like sitting right next to a guy? Trey got a payday last yeah. year. Uh, he I, deserves it, though. He, yeah, he deserves, he deserves it. it. Man. Sitting right next to you, I want to get there. <laughs> yeah. Is there any motivation as well seeing a guy that's successful and, I mean, and seeing an opportunity? I know, I mean, obviously for all of us, the, the Super Bowl is the number one goal of yeah. all of us, but an individual goal is uh, obviously to just keep playing and uh-huh. um, get to those, you know, paydays, get to, to, you know, get to the Pro Bowls that they want. You know, obviously that's the kind of individual sets we're all looking for. So, I mean, you, you want to get around the kind of guys that have, proven and have done those kind of things and yeah. see how they've done it. So, I mean, I, like I said, it's a great opportunity and it's great that he's sitting, you know, right next to me. Well, you, you know, might not day. ask him, but I already asked him. What is it like? I asked him, so what's it like having all that money, man? Just <laughs> all that money. Yeah, it's different from college. It's different, right? different from college. It's nice, man. <laughs> All right, so that's all the football talk we're going to get into, man. I'm going to go through some, some off-field questions I had and get into some fan questions. But off the top of your head, what are, what are three things that we don't know about you that you that you can share about Taylor Moat. Um, three things about me. Yeah, three shareable things about. You. Let's Uh-oh. see. Here. Deep breath. Um, Ben, if I'm if I'm not in the playbook or doing anything fo- with football, one of my biggest uh, pastimes is probably video games. Okay. Yeah. So somebody had told me to ask you what is one of your favorite video games. My favorite video games ever? Or like what I'm playing right now? Both. Let's go both. Well, ever, um, Grand Theft Auto, the newest for <laughs> five, the big one. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think I, I think I have to go with that. Okay. On one of the two, one of the two Ks. I always been a big, big two K fan. But now I'm playing the new Spider-Man game. Okay. It's a lot of fun. Actually, right. Daryl put me on that. Daryl did. Yeah, yeah. So he, we. Uh, yeah, we were talking about that, but it's a lot. It's a, it's a lot of fun though. So that one thing I like to do that Netflix. Okay. I'm a big Netflix person. So binge watching or, or as much as you can. I don't know. Can I was binge watching watch during the season. Um, not as much during the season. Yeah. More of an off season thing I can binge. Watch. Okay. What was the last binge? Office. Office. I, I rewatched the Office. Yeah, okay. I watched it a couple of times already. 
I know this is about favorites. you, but my recent binge has been watching The Simpsons. Oh yeah, I'll take, a, <laughs> I'll take a long time. Seven other episodes of that or something, right? Yeah, like, I think I'm on season 29, and I just kind of get amazed. 29. Like, man, that was funny when I was young, and it's funny now. But all right, so that's two. Can you give me one more, or did you give me three? Uh, that's two. Um, other thing. Um, I like to relax. Hmm. Relax. Relax. Like, just, just chill out. Yeah. That's part of. <laughs> I was trying to help you think, man. I don't I'm know. trying to think. Yeah. Uh, what else is there to do? What else is there about me? We'll come back. Because my know, next question may help also spur that, which okay. is a typical day off. What, what what does that look like during the season for you? Um, on a typical day off, I wake up. If I don't have any busted bruises, I don't worry about treatment. I'll just pick myself. I might go get some breakfast, buy myself some breakfast. Oh, watch, which, watch a little bit of film. Which is a popular question. They want to know what is your favorite spot to eat. So do you have any favorite spots? Uh, or do you still learn it, learning around? Famous toastery for okay. breakfast. This one, you know, it's definitely up there. Uh, <laughs> Midwood smoke. I'm a. I learned myself. I learned this about myself is that I'm a big barbecue guy. Okay. Since I moved down here, because they don't they don't do barbecue up in Michigan like they do here. Okay. So, Midwood Smokehouse, Saucemans. Those are two of my top spots for barbecue. Are you, are you a chef at all yourself? I know you got a lot of uh, other guys in the locker room. Not as much. I, I was more in college, I think, than I am now. It helps that we have so many meals prepared, you know, at the stadium. So that always, yeah. It's always nice. Just kind of like college, huh? You just go there and get a meal. Exactly. Feel free at any point, man. If you get extra, just say, hey, Chris, if you still around, let's <laughs> drop it off. I got you. Single parent. I don't like to cook, man. So anytime I can get a free meal, I got save you. me some time. I won't be mad at you. <laughs> Um, yeah. Being from Michigan, man, you had a lot of accolades that you got in Michigan. I know before you got drafted, they asked you about if you had a chance to beat uh, Bushin Muhammad. Yeah. Have you had a chance to talk with them at all yet? Yeah, yeah. Um, I've talked to them quite a few times, you know, because we're two of the only guys actually from, like, my hometown, like that Lan the area, mm -hmm. Lansing. So, mm -hmm. there's only been, like, a small handful of guys that actually got drafted, mm -hmm. you know, so it... It's really, uh, it was really nice to get to know from him and have the opportunity to talk to him. And it, you know, really convenient. He was a Carolina Panther. Yeah. And he still sticks around, comes to you know all the games. I think he's there every Sunday yeah, doing something. Yeah, absolutely. Right? Yeah, so I get to chat with him a little bit. You might want to make sure you sprinkle some business talks in there with him, man, because I think he has a lot of business things going yeah, on, right? It's not a bad idea. It's <laughs> not might a bad idea. <laughs> sprinkle that in there. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and go into these fan questions, man. Uh, favorite childhood memory, I guess. Tell us about your childhood, first of all, growing up in Michigan. Did you ski at all in Michigan? Mm, one time, like in fourth grade. Wow. That was fourth it. grade? Yeah, it was okay. a long time ago. I always wanted to get into it, but I never, I don't know, never really uh, never really tried it after that, though. Okay. All right. But I guess not really a lot of places here, huh? Nah. nah. You got to drive about, me and my son ever drive about two hours away and go skiing. Oh, that's not too far. Nah, not bad. It's not yeah. like big mountains <laughs> that you might find in the Michigan area, but it works. Yeah, it works. Yeah. Um, but your childhood memory, I guess it's growing up with, uh, you know, family, friends, and... How many siblings you got? I have a brother and a sister. Okay. Yeah, we're both, both a lot older, but, you know, like, uh, you know, really, we're all really close though, still, so it was nice having, okay. you know, having family. Bro. So are you the youngest? I am the youngest, yeah, I'm the baby, by far. <laughs> by far. Any yeah, benefits yeah. that you realize as, as you're no, growing up I mean, from being the youngest? Oh, um, I mean, um... Did you get spoiled? Did yeah, you I got spoiled big time. Okay. I mean, my mom will tell you I got spoiled, so I'm not even arguing with you about it. <laughs> uh, any any big spoils come to mind? Like that you like? Like, is it cooking for? Is it? Yeah, is cooking it, was big. I mean, I was lot. a big guy, so she always had to make sure she made like double, triple portions for me. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Stuff. What was it like getting clothes growing up and even now? Because that was one of the questions. Like, are you able hard. to get stuff off the rack or what? No, I mean, very, very uh, seldomly do I actually like see stuff my size in regular clothing stores. You know, okay. I got to go like casual mail. Like, so I like big and tall stores uh -huh. or um, 
You know, I got a Nike account, which is nice, like a, a deal with Nike. So they okay. always have stuff my size. Okay. All the stuff I got on right now, actually. Yeah, you got Nike, Nike on. Yeah, you know, Jordan, you get stuff. Yeah, pretty much. So the feet are a little too big, though, for me to get a pair, man. What's feet, that? 15, 15 16, yeah. 15? He's yeah. a 15. It's a little too big. Yeah, see, that's a, like, I go to Foot Locker. That's the first thing I always ask as soon as I walk in. Yeah, any size 15? <laughs> Normally, it's a no, but, right. you know, you always got to try. Okay. <laughs> um... I was told that's what, what's mom like because we kind of already talked about mom a little bit. But what is mom like? In your oh, world? she's great. She's um, she's very outgoing. She's very um, she's very outspoken. But you know, she's one thing. She's always there. she's always there for me. Always supportive. Yeah. You know, oh, you know, happy to have a mom like her. You know, always there every you know pretty much every Sunday. They never missed a college game. So she was you know high school game. She's always there for me. Okay. So I mean it. I guess I was really blessed to have a, a mother like that in my life. What would mom say about you? Faster. I don't know what she it Depends <laughs> on her mood, I think. <laughs> All right. So uh, waffles or pancakes? Pancakes. Pancakes. Uh, what'd you do in the off season? Well, we already kind of talked about that. So let me go. Favorite video game? We already talked about oh. that. If you if you if you having a stressful moment, do you have any? de-stressing things like your your go-to for just getting your mind back settled from dealing with the world and football and, and all um, that stuff? Um, I just, I guess uh, when I when I get home from work, you know, my couch, it's always pretty big, uh, relaxing for me. Evening, so those are, those are always, uh, help me out with that. I mean, other than that, yoga, I get some pretty, uh, You get some yoga? In? Yeah, it helps my flexibility too, but ultimately it's a nice, Place, like get deep breathing in, yeah, and relax. Yeah. What kind do you do? The hot or regular? No, I tried hot one time. Oh, that was bad. <laughs> that was too much for me. I had to do regular. All right. Yeah. Well, you know, when you sometimes I feel like you guys are bigger without your pads on. I'm still thinking about when you first came in the door. I'm like, all right, what's up, fam? <laughs> <laughs> Which makes me think of, you know, now you got a little bit more zeros in the bank account, right? And so you're a bigger guy. Has there been any comfort? Thing that you've been able to get that you're happy about as you you know to accommodate being a larger guy because I know like who do we have Al Jefferson he bought like some huge bed uh, yeah. once he got it to leave but has there been any like comfort things that you were like now I can get to yeah. Be to yeah I got a big bed too I got a California King okay so that, that's really comfortable that's one of my uh, one of my favorite purchases okay that bad that my truck Okay. And Escalade. So got a little sure. room to yeah, sit in the car. Exactly. Got some leg room. <laughs> it's really nice. All right. So those are probably the two biggest explore for my size. No other custom kind of things that you've gotten to. <laughs> Nothing to, too custom. Not yet. Nothing like that. Still on that rookie contract. Still on there. There <laughs> <laughs> you go. <laughs> yeah. All right, man. Well, look, that's that's all the questions that I had, man. I, right. I hope that it was fun and easy for you. But yeah. now, now we on to the really fun part, right? Okay. So you're an NFL player. And uh, so all you guys got this little competitive juices going, right? So I did my research. And there's, I got to keep doing my research on you, man. But smart guy, right? Did you get your MBA or you were in the process? I was in the process. I got never MBA. quite got it. Okay. But you got a degree in accounting? Maybe mm -hmm. not? Okay. But Dave Gettleman said you were one of the smartest guys in the room, right? Oh, did he? When, when you got drafted, that's oh, wow. what he said. You're probably one of the smartest guys in the room. So playing off of that, we're going to do a little challenge. Oh that, that we're going to come back and do. It's going to be a, uh, well, I'll, I'll just show you guys. So give us a second. We're going to come back. I'm going to show you what the challenge is. Okay. And we'll see who wins, all right? Sounds good. <laughs> we're back in uh, large print words, all right? So what, this is what we're going to do because it's going to be quick and easy. I'm going to see mm -hmm. if, who's the smarter guy. All right. I didn't quite finish college. You, did you finish? I did finish. You did finish. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't finish. <laughs> You, you should win, right? Because you. Uh, <laughs> but find out. we're gonna do this. One minute. We're gonna see who can find the most words on the puzzle. Okay. All right. So since you're my guest, yeah. I'll ask you. Do you want to go first? Or do you want me to go first? I'll go first. You'll go first. Yeah, let's go. Let me go. All first, right. So please. I think it's uh, about 40 puzzles in here. Okay. So I'm just gonna pick the number. Yeah. You find it. When you found it. I'll start the clock, mm -hmm. and you see how many words you can find in one minute. On that right? page, okay. All right, so give me a second to get the clock going. It's like I never started my microphone. If I did, oh well, we'll fix it later. I need to start it now, right? So, actually, let me check, let me check. A little low budget around here, but we make it work. <laughs> All right, we are going, we're going. All right, so I'm gonna pick number 23. All right. 
and uh, you tell me when you've gotten to it. There. You there? Mm hmm. Ready? Yep. Set. Go. All right. Oh. I already got advantage because my hands aren't as big as his. There's one. Maybe that means he has it. How many did you get, sir? What is that? One, two, three, four, five. I you got, got five. five? You I know what? Five. I'm not even going to check you. I'm going to trust that you got five. All right. All right. So you got five. Mm -hmm. uh, it'll be my turn now. So I pick the number? Yeah, I'll let you pick the number. All right. I was about to open it up. I guess that was going to be cheap. So you pick which number? Number four. Number four. Oh, they probably get easier. No, they probably like nah, easier. Nah, it's, it's, like it's just random, man. It's just random. Do like 30. <laughs> like 30. <laughs> There you go, applying that smart to this. Yeah. All right, I'm on it. Right. Oh, you started the clock Start already. Right. Let's see. Man, I, I feel like I don't have a good strategy. A minute's going to go by a lot quicker. Is this thing? A L I B I. So I got one. Um, all right. I'm feeling like I'm going to lose my son. Can we talk about it? Uh, yeah, I had like about four of them. Four. Is that D? Yep. Yep. Third. I should have. Burglar. Should have strategy. Oh, an alarm. Ooh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. oh. Alarm. Keep Burglar. Two more for the tie. Uh, Levi. Is that a word? I don't know. Uh, Wage. Uh, See Wage too. Is it over? Yeah, that's it. I told you. A minute goes by quick when you're doing those things. I felt the pressure, man. I think I should have, <laughs> I should have went first, man. So I went to, but you saw, what, what, what was that that we saw? For wave. Oh, wait. Right there. And there's like, that's not a easy type. Anyway, that's it, man. So, um, unfortunately, I don't have anything to give to you for winning, but I'll say congratulations. Oh, okay. well, uh, thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> That Thank was fun. you. It was fun. All right. That was fun. Yeah. I like work there. I need to come up in a higher chair next time. <laughs> <laughs> that might maybe you have more confidence. Let's see. Look into this camera here, Mr. Taylor Moten, and let these people know how to find you and follow you on social media. You can follow me on Instagram or Twitter at tmoten72. Yeah, that's it. That's all it is, dude. That's all it is, dude. <laughs> so join me in looking at this camera to say thank you guys for watching. As always, I invite you to subscribe to the YouTube channel. That way you get to see more interviews like this that I have with the players coming up. I would like to say I work for you guys. Whatever you want to see, whatever you want to hear things, if you want to find out about, just let me know and I'll get it to you. So for Taylor Moten, I'm Chris Jenkins. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks.